the little village of Anathoth, not very far from Jerusalem, a boy named Jeremiah was learning his lessons. Since Jeremiah was the son of a priest, he had more difficult lessons to learn and less time to play. But Jeremiah was quick to learn. He knew all about the history of Israel and how God had helped by leading them. As Jeremiah grew, he became bigger and stronger. His heart was filled with the love for his country and with the love of God. One day, as he was walking in his fields, Jeremiah, huh? I'm going to bind you as the prophet of the nations. Huh? But Lord God, I'm too young. I do not know how to speak. Do not say that you are too young. You must go where I send you and say what I command you. I'm putting my words in your mouth. I will, Lord. Jeremiah, what do you see? I, I see a branch of an almond tree and I see a cooking pot tilting from the north. In his vision, like the white flowers in the almond tree that was awake while everything else was dead, God said that he would fulfill every one of his words. Jeremiah, I watch over my words to see it fulfilled. And like the tilting pot, disaster is boiling from the north to destroy your land. Huh? Do not be afraid. I will make you strong. You will be like a fortified city. God told Jeremiah that evil days were coming upon his country. He told him that armies would come sweeping down from the north and would destroy Jerusalem and take the Israelites captive. This was the message which Jeremiah was supposed to deliver to the people. The message that God was about to punish the Israelites for their wrongdoings. And no better messenger could have been chosen. Jeremiah was quite fearless and steadfast like a rock. Nothing could stop him or tempt him to keep silence. Listen, O Israel, to the word of God. You have abandoned our God. Your prophet speaks in the name of idols. Your priests offer sacrifices to these idols. Your hands are stained with the blood of the innocent. Isn't this Jeremiah, the son of Hilkiah, the priest? Ah, yes, he is. Where was he all these days? Looks like he's sick. He is pretending to be a prophet. A prophet? No, not another one. We have enough of them already. Come back to God. He is merciful. Abandon your idols and do justice. Jeremiah, you better watch what you're saying. Are you trying to be a prophet? Jeremiah, my son, why don't you be a priest like your father? What you're doing is quite dangerous. I am only obeying our God, and I think you should do the same. Hmm. At first, however, things were easy for the young prophet. The good king Josiah was reigning, and he tried to make the people give up idol worship. King Josiah gave instructions to destroy the idols in the country. Altars and temples dedicated to idols were destroyed. From now on, Israel will have only one temple. Sacrifices will be offered only in Jerusalem. Idol worship will now be considered a crime deserving capital punishment. Hmm. Josiah is a smart king. We are becoming an empire like in the times of David. It won't be long before Solomon's glory returns to Israel. Yes, all the prophets are saying the same too. No. Not every prophet agrees. Jeremiah is still preaching about the coming disaster. <laughs> he is a fool! But the good days didn't last for long. In a few days, there was a war at Megiddo against Egyptians, and Josiah died fighting a furious battle. Oh no! He was such a good king! Yes, he took care of his people very well. Hmm. Maybe, maybe he was punished by the Egyptian gods for destroying their idols. 
What? Hmm, you are right. Maybe we should worship Baal from now on. Hey, look! Isn't that Jeremiah walking up the stairs? Yes, it's Jeremiah. What is he going to do? People of Israel, God is punishing you for your sins. But Josiah was a good king. He destroyed all the idols. True faith means not just destroying the idols. It means writing the laws of the covenant in your heart. But, but we offer sacrifices as commanded by the God. Your sacrifices are in vain. No one will be able to save you. Move! Hmm, move aside. People of Israel, do not believe in empty promises. Who are you? How dare you speak like that in the house of the Lord? Yes, this is the house of the Lord. God will protect his house. You steal, murder, and commit other crimes. Then come to the house of the Lord. Do you think you'll be safe here? What is this place? A den of robbers? Huh? How dare you? Where are the gods? Yes, master. Arrest this man. He's speaking against our temple and our God. Take him away. Come with me, you. Jeremiah was arrested that day and he was produced before the judges. The judges sent him away with an order forbidding him to enter the temple ever. Jeremiah left the city that day and lived in exile for many years.